Okay, I'm going to show you how to convert a mundane wall clock. This is the model A990 uh, 16SBB. When it comes from mundane, you get a clock which just has a basic quartz movement in it. It ticks. And as you can see from this one, I bought this broken, had the movement was broken. It is now converted into a sweep second hand, which is what I really like about these clocks. I looked for a lot of clocks which had the lollipop second hand, which I really like. I couldn't find any. The only one I could find was the were these mundane ones. And if you go to Switzerland, you'll see the original station clocks have a lollipop hand, but they also sweep round. And I think mundane have just started doing a sweep second one, but it's very expensive and it's bigger than this. This is a 25 centimeter, I believe. It's 25 centimeters. And as you can see, it's sweeping. Not only is it sweeping, it is atomic controlled. It's radio controlled. It's receiving a, a time signal. Um, the movement which replaced is a ZD9688. And you see the, um, the buttons for receiving the radio signal. So it's now keeping perfect time, just like the, uh, station, the clock still on the Swiss stations. The, the hands that come with this are a German size, so they're five millimeters and three millimeters for the second hand for the collet size. So the hands that came with this didn't fit. The hands which came with the movement didn't fit. I these were the hands which came with that uh, movement. Chopped the ends off the uh, off the collets, drilled out the original hands from the mundane clock, and replace the collets from the original hands um, and these are the what these are the collets which drilled out from the original hands and then replace the the collets which came with the replacement movement I super glued those onto the collets in here and fitted them onto the new movement i spoke to a couple of people they said this couldn't be done but this is proving that it can one of the problems people say happens is the because of the weight of the lollipop hand, the movement doesn't have the power to drive it. So I balanced it up by removing some metal from the some of the counterweight, which was on the wrong side of the second hand. It's difficult to make out there. You can just see it on the, on the inside here. I just used a Dremel, removed some metal to lighten the hand, to get it a bit balanced. It's not perfect, but you can see the clock still drives it, no problem keeping perfect time and I'm very happy.